Hey guys, Super Guys of Final Wars here, and today we are doing the final review of Godzilla Singular Point Episode 13, the last episode. So, let's begin, shall we? So, our episode begins uh, with. Oh boy. It begins with a strange opening of Padu doing like a narrator thing. Then we cut to Team Padu. Then we cut back to Team J Jaguar. And they're still making their way towards Godzilla. After intro, bro, we cut to the creepy guy. And, well, to one of our other main characters. And apparently, Gabra is standing right in front of them. Um, one of the, the soldiers fires the same weapon that they use on Gabra like a few times now in the series, but this time it has no effect on him. And he is apparently grown immune to it now. They're talking about the whole singular point thing. Got to Team Jet Jaguar, and they have almost entered to the giant dust, tor red dust tornado. And our characters had to split up. Got back to Team Pato. They're trying to figure a way how they're going to stop the singular point, but unfortunately. Uh, Gabra has arrived, and we can see that his classic powers are still there, because the electricity arm thing is, like, there. He also uses his horn to... to basically, like, lift the thing up. And I swear, the glare that he gives... It was when he's looking at the camera, the glare is like so intimidating. That's when you know that this Gabra means business. As we got back to Team Jaguar, Jaguar is doing his best to avoid all the rodents as possible while holding one of our main characters. But the rodents stop attacking. And our characters see the reason why. Right. Godzilla is standing right behind them. He charges his atomic breath, trying to hit the characters. Well, trying to hit J Jaguar. But he also ends up hitting the Rodans in the process. And he also does a beautiful Godzilla King of the Monster reference. Like, it's just so beautiful, like... He fires his atomic breath in the sky. It's just so beautiful that he- that they actually went a ref- that they did a reference. And our characters fall directly on top of Godzilla. They're basically standing on him. I don't understand how are they like standing on him if he's like infected with radiation. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is that the um Megalunon, or whatever, it's like the bug things we see in the Rodin Solo movie and Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. Then we come back to Team uh, Padu, and Gabra is making his way down. He's like doing cool, f well, like moves, and he's making his way down.
but unfortunately, our main characters weren't be able to do it in time because Gabber lands directly on top of the singular point. And starts going haywire on it. Our human characters get out of there, then we cut back to Team to Jaguar. Our human character is doing his best to to avoid with the megalons. And before our character can begin, To fall to his death, Jack Jack or caught him in time, or catches him in time, but unfortunately crashes in the process, leaving our main character face to face with the G Man. And things do not look good for him, and I don't even understand how the guys will even notice that he was right there. Unless he smelled him or something. Nice, right, so we cut back to Team Padu, and Padu is doing his best to find a way to stop the singular point. Anyways, Padu finds a way to make the Jaguar invincible. Quote unquote invincible. Cut back to Team J Jaguar. And Jet Jaguar was like all completely messed up. But the little thingy somehow, I don't know how, but it makes like before Godzilla can kill our main character with an with an atomic breath. I don't understand why he can't just like eat him. Would have been quicker. J Jaguar kicks Godzilla. And J Jaguar is bigger. He's practically almost the same size as Godzilla. By the way, in this episode, Godzilla is a hundred meters. Yes, in the last episodes, he was only 45 meters, but in this episode, he is 100 meters. And you could see the size change, because look at the buildings around him. And, and compare that size with episode 10. And you could see the size difference between episode 10 and this episode, episode 13. But yeah, Jet Jaguar is somehow bigger, but now he is almost the same size as Godzilla and ready to fight Godzilla. And I will say, fans have been basically imagining on what the fight will go down if Godzilla actually fought Jet Jaguar on the big screen. Or the small screen. But now, fans actually got their wish. They're seeing Godzilla fighting Jet Jaguar. Or, and Jet Jaguar lands a good hit, but not enough to fully phase Godzilla. Like, like a severe wound. And Godzilla just like basically throws Jet Jaguar around like a rag doll. He basically slaps Jet Jaguar with his tail, then fires his atomic breath, blowing half of Jet Jaguar's face off. And apparently Jet Jaguar was away for something. I didn't really pay attention to what Jet Jaguar was saying, I was just watching and seeing his butt getting whooped by Godzilla. And Jet Jaguar does the ultimate sacrifice. As he takes Godzilla, Godzilla fires his atomic breath, and the area is like surrounded with blue crystals. And people thought Godzilla was dead. 
or is dead. But the next scene, we don't see Godzilla's carcass. We don't see his body. Or a few remains of Jet Jaguar. Got, like, Godzilla just flat out disappeared. It's rather he is the Blue Crystals. Or he somehow got out of there. I don't know. And the singular point is all messed up. And Gabra looks to be dead. For good. And so, everything is normal. Godzilla's gone, the Rodans are gone, and we don't see any remains of Godzilla. We don't see where Godzilla is. So it's rather he is the crystals, or he somehow got out of there. And apparently our characters reunite with themselves. Team Jet Jaguar and Team Pato get reunited. And it's been a long, long time since these characters were face to face. Like they began texts from one another. But that's just it. And that is the eps That's episode 13. Or. Is it? Because at the end credits, the end credits, folks. Oh my God, my mouth dropped. We see what happened to the skeleton of the of the original Godzilla, and it's being turned into Mecha Godzilla. That's right. Apparently, the human. The other part of our human characters, who were kind of suspiciously bad, they were kind of building Mecha Godzilla. They stole the skeleton of the first Godzilla, and they're turning it into Mecha Godzilla. What looks like more like a hybrid between Ready Player One Mecha Godzilla and Showa Mecha Godzilla. And I am loving this design. I hope we see more of him in season two. And who knows, maybe Mecha Godzilla might be the main villain in that mo in that series, and Godzilla might turn out to be the good guy. And that's just basically it, besides we've seen he are human main villains. And so folks, that was Godzilla Singular Point. And my god, this was a good series. I found every every Huge of entertainment the size of the first episode. It didn't really show that much entertainment. Besides of that, Godzilla Singular Point was awesome. And so, that ends our reviews of Godzilla Singular Point. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to have a quarter with excellence. And tell me in the comments below. Who do you think what hap what do you think happened to Godzilla? What do you think what happened to him? Do you think he might still be alive? Well, he has to be. Be able to be a half, or he has to be alive, because if he's not alive, then we're not going to get a season two of God's a singular point. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go with excellence, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.